Uh, why is Norway putting the brakes on crypto mining? Let's dive into the heart of this chilly Nordic nation's latest regulatory moves and how they might affect the future of digital gold rush. Uh, you've heard of stranded whales up north, but what about stranded hydroelectric power? Turns out Norway's bountiful yet remote clean energy resources were too tempting for Bitcoin miners to have resist. Enter companies like Bitfury, Bitdeer, and BitZero who set up shop in this crypto paradise. But wait, what goes up must come down, or so says Norway's government. Alarmed by the surge in greenhouse gases from all those servers humming away, ministers Karianne Tung and Turya Osland made it clear, this is a type of business we do not want in Norway. Yikes, time to pack up the ASICs, folks. And if that wasn't enough drama for one week, Along came Bitcoin's having event. This quadrennial tradition slices minor rewards in half, leaving many wondering whether this perfect storm is would wash away any hopes of survival for those still hanging on in Norway. And now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. As countries around the globe start paying closer attention to both the environmental and legal aspects of crypto mining, adaptability becomes key for survival in this ever-shifting landscape. After all, nobody wants to be left out in the cold when the music stops playing. And so there you have it, while Norway grapples with its own crypto conundrum, similar stories are unfolding across the world. Will our beloved Bitcoin miners learn to dance in harmony with regulators or face extinction a la dinosaurs? Only time will tell. But hey, at least we got a good laugh out of this whole thing. With well, that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.